What a question, Little Miss Curious. I wonder why there are clouds in the sky. Only Little Miss Curious would ask such a question. Why are you so thirsty? Oh, let me explain, Little Miss Curious. You see, I, Little Miss Brainy, know the answer for everything. But why do you know the answer for everything? <laughs> what a question, because I'm Brainy. But why are you Brainy? Well, you see, when I <laughs> was little... <laughs> Why are you using those bellows, little Miss Greedy? To tempt Mr. Greedy out of that plane. Look, he's going to jump. <laughs> but why is he going to jump? Mr. Skinny dared him to do it. Why did he accept the dare? Because Mr. Greedy will get this cake if he jumps. And why does Mr. Greedy want this cake? Because he is greedy. Why is he greedy? <laughs> oh, why don't you ask little Miss Brainy? Oh, no, not me, not me. I'm fed up with all these questions. Go and ask someone else, little Miss Curious. <laughs> Emptying the bottles? To fill the glasses, of course. Why are you filling up all those glasses, Mr. Nonsense? To empty the bottles, of course. Oh, no. <laughs> Thank goodness for that. I can't stop now. Well, Mr. Nonsense is so full of nonsense that I can never annoy him. Why do you want to annoy him? For the fun of it? Why do you find that fun? What a silly question. I'm Little Miss Naughty and I just love being naughty and annoying people. But why? Oh! Oh no! That's much too much. <laughs> <laughs> what on earth's wrong, Little Miss Naughty? Save me from Little Miss Curious. She won't stop asking me questions. Don't worry, you're not alone. I may be brainy, but even I don't have any answers left. Neither do I. Neither do I. And neither do I. Look out, here she comes. I have an idea. Mr. Dizzy has an idea. Mr. Dizzy has an idea. Oh, well, uh, you see, I thought if we could do that. <laughs> <laughs> no, see? Oh, no. no, you don't say. Why are you so greedy, Mr. Greedy? And why, Little Miss Curious, are you called Little Miss Curious? What a silly question. Because, why not?
Little Miss Stubborn goes right to the bitter end. Today, Little Miss Stubborn has invited Little Miss Brainy and Mr. Greedy over to her house for some hot chocolate. Mmm, delicious. <laughs> I um, don't suppose you know how chocolate is made? No, <laughs> but it's really good, eh? <laughs> <laughs> well, you see, chocolate is made from the seed of the cocoa tree, which comes from Mexico. How do you know that, Little Miss Brainy? I just do, that's all. Look, it's a competition. What's the smallest island in the world? It's Teeny Island. And how big is it? It's two metres long and one metre wide. Are you sure of that? For certain. You can go and check if you like. <laughs> all right, then. I will. But it is 12,000 miles away. That won't stop me. Uh, don't forget to take a ruler. All passengers for Teeny Island, your flight is now boarding at gate four. Is this Teeny Island? Teeny Island is out there. Oh. A ticket for Teeny Island, please. No, sorry, my dear. What do you mean, no? There's going to be a heavy storm this afternoon. I couldn't care less about the storm. Take me to Teeny Island. Impossible. Then let me buy your boat. She's all yours. <laughs> Thank you. Bye. A rather good wine. <laughs> I never thought I'd be able to get such a good price for that old nutshell. <laughs> oh, dear me. I do think that little Miss Stubborn is being a little foolish. Oh. I said I'd go to Teeny Island, and so I'm going there. What are you doing here? I come here for my holidays every year. You see, I feel at home here. And you? Have you come here for a holiday too? No. I've come to check on something, actually. How tall are you, little Miss Tiny? Exactly five centimetres. Why? Two. Four. Fifteen. Sixteen. Two meters by one meter. So, she was right. Oh. You were right, little Miss Brainy. It's not that I'm stubborn, but I do like to check things. Uh, Mr. Greedy mm. didn't wait for you. Oh, I won first prize. Oh, my weight in chocolate. <laughs> Look, there's a new competition on the cornflakes packet. What is the distance between Mr. Land and the Moon? 4,203 miles. But how could you possibly know something like that? I just do, that's how. And you're sure of that? It says so in all the space books. They might be wrong. Go and see for yourself if you don't believe me. All right then, I will.
Little Miss Greedy, Belle of the Ball. Come on, Little Miss Greedy. Do make an effort. I've let out all the scenes. It's no use, Little Miss Wise. I simply can't get into my ball gown. You see what happens when you eat too much? Oh, no, Little Miss Greedy. You'll never get into your dress if you carry on like that. I'll never be able to go to the ball, and I do so love this dress. Then go on a diet. I'm sure Dr. Make You Well will give you some advice. A diet? Now, tell me what you eat in a day, little Miss Greedy. Well, let's see. For breakfast, I have a dozen eggs and some bacon, then ten slices of toast, eight buns, and washed down with some hot chocolate and... Now, wait a minute. Oh, and then for lunch... Stop. Onto the scales. I think your scales are a little tired. I'm going to drop a diet program for you. All meals are to be taken with Mr. Skinny. Exercise to be taken with Little Miss Somersault, and if you want to go to the ball, no more cakes and no more sweets. Oh! And no more sweets. <laughs> It's your turn now. Oh. It's quite simple. A few bounces and hop, off you go. Are you sure? Absolutely. The spaghetti's coming up. Hurry up, Mr. Skinny. I could eat an ox after all that swimming. Spaghetti sauce at the matto, a la Napolitano. Oh, yummy, yummy, yum, yum. Ta da! Which one would you prefer? And don't tell me, I'll give you the biggest one. Go ahead and tuck in, I'll answer that. It's Little Miss Somersault for you. Hello? It's time to go jogging. Oh. It will help your lunch go oh. down. I'm so glad to see that you appreciate my cooking. I am sorry. I've eaten your spaghetti too. Don't worry. I could never have finished it anyway. Well, if it isn't Little Miss Greedy. <laughs> She's slimming. I don't see any difference. <laughs> I bet she won't be able to resist picking some blackberries. <laughs> I think I have an idea to help her lose weight. Oh, uh, why is slimming such hard work? I know Dr. Make You Well wouldn't approve. <laughs> oh, well, never mind. <laughs> oh! oh. What's making that strange noise? The big bad wolf. I smell lunch. Oh, oh help me! <laughs> <laughs> Not scared of a little Miss Trouble. <laughs> I think you're right. And it's all thanks to you and your face paints. She'll run and run and run. Oh, if only I can reach little Miss Wise's house, I'll be safe there. Oh! Ah. Help! Open up! There's a monster chasing me! Oh! Well, what is it? Has the monster caught up with me? Oh, no! It's amazing! You've lost weight! Now forget all about the monster and try on your ball dress. I will be the belle of the ball, after all.
Little Miss Wise's crazy day. Little Miss Wise gets up at seven o'clock every day. After making her bed, Little Miss Wise likes things to be just right. Not too much toothpaste on her toothbrush. Her tea mustn't be too hot or too cold. And just the right amount of jam on her toast. And then Little Miss Wise very wisely goes for a little stroll. And to make sure that she has walked just the right distance, Little Miss Wise counts how many steps she takes. Thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six. Hello, Little Miss Wise. Would you like to come to Miss Star's house? We're going to have a skateboard race. A skateboard race? You, Mr. Bump? Is that wise? Oh, there'll be piles of things to eat. Ooh, this high! <laughs> you know, it isn't wise to eat so much, Mr. Greedy. Thank you, but I'd rather go for a little walk around the square. Thirty-seven, thirty-eight... Well, have a nice walk, little Miss Wise. <laughs> Actually, I'm rather pleased that she isn't coming with us. <laughs> she has spoiled my appetite. Well, <laughs> almost. <laughs> well, that's one less person for me to bump into. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, then. Everybody to the starting line. Sixty-three, sixty-four, sixty-five. And why are you not taking part, Mr. Greedy? Oh, well, never mind. I, I just have to stay and look after the food. <laughs> Ready? Ready, little mister? Ready, little mister? Go! Go on, Mr. Bump, go on! Okay, oh, oh. Well, I never. Mr. Bump is already out of the race. And Mr. Busy takes the lead, closely followed by little Miss Somersault. Here we go, first obstacle coming up. <laughs> bravo! Oh, bravo. 102, 103. Oh, we have a surprise competitor. <laughs> Still in the lead. But here comes the slalom. Help me! Oh, I can't stop! What a surprise! Little Miss Wise has just taken the lead. Help! I've had it! First, Little Miss Wise. Hooray! Oh, where, where am I? Well, I never would have thought you had it in you, Little Miss Wise. I'm usually unbeatable. It's party time, everybody. I think it would be wise if I went home now. Would you like to dance, Miss Wise? Little Miss Wise had one of the best days of her life. But some things never change. <laughs> 8, 9, 10, 11.
Arrival for Little Miss Somersault. Little Miss Somersault is so acrobatic, she doesn't sleep in a bed. Oh no, not Little Miss Somersault. She sleeps on a tightrope. Ah, I really am the best. Yoo-hoo, look at me do. Watch this! Thank you! Thank you so much! One, two! One, two! One, two! Every morning, Little Miss Somersault gives an aerobics class for Little Miss Splendid, Little Miss Greedy and Mr. Lazy. Come on! Let's warm up with a little somersault! <laughs> you really are hopeless. Just watch me. You see, it's so easy. Miss Somersault really is a bit of a show off. She needs to be taught a lesson. Tomorrow, on the stroke of eight, you'll be far less nimble than of late. Poor little Miss Somersault. Each time she tried to get comfortable on the tightrope, she fell off. Oh. Oh. And now for the somersault. See how easy it is. <laughs> <laughs> Why do you look so sad, Miss Somersault? Oh, Miss Curious, uh, I can't turn somersaults anymore. Uh, and why can't you turn somersaults anymore? Please, no more questions. I'm miserable enough as it is. Well, I think Miss Somersault has got the message. Return to your original self. Make every somersault a success. Yippee! That's it. I'm back to normal. Oh. Oh. Excuse me, I think I was here first. I'm sorry, I didn't even see you. But it isn't fair. I can't help it if I turn the best somersaults in the world. <laughs> What's oh. going on down there? It's Miss Somersault. Just look at her. She thinks she can do as she pleases. It looks like Miss Somersault needs teaching another lesson. And the very next morning... Hello. Thank you! Thank you so much! Thank you! But I can do even better, you know. But who is clapping? Watch out! But how? So, Miss Somersault, how do you feel now? Upset. You're all so good. What am I going to do? Now you know how we feel. Oh, right. <laughs> I'm sorry. Well done, Miss Somersault. You've learned your lesson. Miss Magic! That's right. I've been helping all the other acrobats. I thought as much. No one can turn better somersaults than me. <laughs> <laughs>
Little Miss Star, the leading witness. Oh, no, I never get fried eggs right. What am I going to give Little Miss Star to eat? I really don't care what I eat. Let's put on the TV, Mr Dizzy, and see if my plan has worked. By the way, you'd find it easier to cook eggs in a frying pan. Good evening. Uh, th this is Mr Worry. We're all very worried, especially me. Little Miss Star has mysteriously disappeared. Our reporter, Little Miss Trouble, is interviewing Mr Nosy to see if he knows anything. Mr Nosy, what do you know about Miss Star's disappearance? Mm, I know everything about everybody. How much money Mr Mean has, how skinny Mr Skinny is, what size shoe Mr Tall takes... Yes, yes, but have you found any clues to Miss Star's disappearance? Uh. No, nothing as yet. Has Miss Star really been kidnapped? Please come forward if you have any information. Poor little Miss Star, where on earth can she be? Oh. Ah, there you are. Yes, it worked. They think I've been kidnapped, but in fact I'm hiding in your house and now at last I'm on oh. television. Do I look all right? Is this seat safe? Is the microphone on? Okay, okay, Mr. Worry, you're on air. This is Mr. Worry. A surprise witness has some important news for us. The inhabitants of Tiddletown are tormented by Worry. Especially me. Ah! Oh, our mysterious guest has just arrived. Meet our surprise witness. Who are you? I am the Masked Avenger. <laughs> Better safe than sorry. Oh. Uh, Master Benjamin, could you tell us when you last saw Miss Star? Why, yesterday. She has to be the greatest star in the world. Hmm. Here's Mr. Nosy. Don't I know you? No, but everyone knows you, Mr. Nosy. <laughs> Well, let's come back to Miss Star. Does she have enemies? No, everyone likes her. Now, I don't agree there. She's awfully pretentious, and everyone knows she has no talent whatsoever. <laughs> Oof! What on earth? That's what comes of insulting Miss Star. <laughs> so it's you who kidnapped her. Oh. Actually, you're welcome to her. Oh, I say. No one likes your little Miss Star. Hello? She's just a terrible show off, that's all. I forbid you to talk like that about little Miss Star. Pardon? <sighs> oh, dear me. A stranger has just confessed to being Miss Star's kidnapper. Oh. Mr. Dizzy! Mr. Dizzy, did, did you, you kidnap, kidnap Miss Star? Uh, Take a nap, did you say? What have you done with Miss Tar? Uh, I fried her. He has fried Miss Tar. An egg. Excuse me, but I don't know who you are. Miss Tar. <laughs> I've ruined your fried eggs again. What am I going to give you to eat? I'm really not hungry, Mr. Dizzy. I only had a few moments of fame. Now everyone's forgotten me again. Oh. Hold on, please. I'll see if she's here. It's someone from Jollywood Studios for you. A little Miss Star, I saw you on television. You were marvelous. I'd like to give you the leading role in my next film, The Return of the Masked Avenger. Yippee! At last I'm going to be a real star.
Little Miss Late beats them all. Look, there's Little Miss Late out for a walk. And for once, she doesn't seem to be late. Well now, Miss Late, aren't you a bit late? No, I'm supposed to be taking part in the race, and believe it or not, Miss Trouble just told me that I'm well ahead of time. Isn't that wonderful? Not at all. On the contrary, you are late, Miss Late. But... But how do you know that, little Miss Brainy? I just do. <laughs> Mr. Tom, Mr. Mischief, Mr. Tickle, and not forgetting Mr. Dizzy, Mr. Lazy, and Mr. Jelly. There's the favourite, Mr. Rush. And then Mr. Bump, Mr. Topsy Turvy. Are you ready, Mr. Bunty? Over to you. On your marks. Ready. Stay. Stop. Stop. I say you're disqualified. Mr. Tutty won't stand for any cheating. On your marks. Get set. Go. What on earth is going on? Two competitors haven't even set off. There's Mr. Lazy. Oh, goodness gracious. Oh, help. I'm in shock. I'm in shock. Now, now, Mr. Jelly. Do calm down. It was only the starting pistol. Oh, thank you, Miss Lay. It scared me to death, you know. I know, Mr. Jelly. Well, I must be off. I'm late. <laughs> Meanwhile, far ahead at the front of the race... And in the lead at the moment, we have Mr. Bump. Followed by Mr. Topsy Turvy. And then Mr. Dizzy. But where can the other runners have gone to? Oh, thank you, Miss Lady. What a good job you came along. The best of luck. Let's hope you win the race, Miss Late. Win the race? Me? You must be joking. You know I don't stand a chance. Well, well, Mr Dizzy. <laughs> I think I'd better take care of him. <laughs> Mr Dizzy. <laughs> I say you do run fast, don't you? Yes, I suppose I do. Can I ask you a question, Mr. Dizzy? <laughs> Which foot do you put down first? The right one or the left? Well, to tell the truth, I really don't know. <laughs> well, <laughs> goodbye, Mr. Dizzy, <laughs> and good luck. <laughs> this is such good fun. Everything all right, Mr. Topsy Turvy? Uh, stay away from me, Mr. Mischief. Oh! <laughs> I think I'm going to win the race. We're close to the finishing line, and any one of three competitors could still win. Currently in the lead, oh, what a surprise, is Mr. Bump. Followed by Mr. Mischief. And somewhere late as usual, we are expecting little Miss Late. Are you sure you feel all right? Yes, I'm fine, the little Miss Late. Oh, Mr. Charles, I can hear Mr. Mischief coming. Come on. I'm ready. One, two, three. <laughs> we got it all wrong. It's Mr. Bomb. <laughs> and it's Mr. Mischief who's certainly going to win since Miss Lake is quite far behind. What is happening? Mr. Mischief can't seem to make it over the line. It looks like Miss Lane is going to win. Yes, yes! Well done, Miss Lane! So little Miss Late had won the race. And that evening, everyone celebrated her incredible win. Everyone? Well, almost. Now then, do I put my right foot down first, or was it was it the left? It was one I, I was I, the left. Oh dear.
Mr. Skinny is up the spout. Mr. Skinny is having a slap-up meal. I'm so full. I'll put the rest in the fridge. Oh! If I don't repair that crack soon, I'll fall into the cellar one of these days. It's fun time! Don't miss the party. Come along to the village square this afternoon oh. and see Miss Somersault turn her legendary somersaults. That sounds like fun. I must get smartened up first. I'm going to the... To the I'm going to the... Oh, oh, wow. Oh, that's too hot. Mm, something's blocking the drain. Oh. Help me! Help! Oh. oh, my poor hat! Where's my hat? Ah, there it is. Oh, where am I? Hello, Mr. Skinny. Mr. Messy, what are you doing down here? Oh, what does he look like? I'm Ruin, of course. In a sewer? Where else? Of course. Every pipe must lead to a house. I wonder which one leads to mine. Try that one. OK, here goes. Well, wish me luck. <laughs> Meanwhile, Mr Grumble was also getting ready to go out. Oh, fairs. Oh, I ate fairs. <laughs> Oh, I ate baths. <laughs> no luck then, eh, Mr. Skinny? You can say that again. Why don't you try another pipe? This time, let's hope that I strike it lucky. Oh, I really don't know why I'm going to this fair. I'm sure it'll be dangerous. Heavens, what can that noise be? Oh, oh hello, Mr. Wherry. I hate to disturb you like this, but I have. Oh, oh. Come on, Mr. Wherry, let me get out of here. Oh, oh, help, there's a monster in my sink. I'll never get out of here. This bathroom has no window. Oh, dear. Oh. Well, we meet again. I'll never get out of here. Oh, don't give up. There might be another solution. You can try to get up the fire hydrant in the village square. Follow me. I'll show you the way. Climb into the tank and let the water pressure do all the work for you. Fingers crossed. You think it'll work? Well, it's worth a try. Good luck. Now then. Incredible. Miss Somersault will ride down this slide at top speed and, well, see for yourself. <laughs> what an amazing trick. And what an amazing surprise. taking part in today's show? <laughs> no, neither did I. <laughs>
That's gratitude, Mr. Uppity. Oh. Ah, sorry, Mr. Uppity. To Mr. Mischief's house, driver. Take me. You're not getting away with that, Mr. Rush. Mr. Mischief has invited a few friends over for a party. <laughs> that must be Mr. Uppity. For heaven's sake, is everyone asleep in there? Oh. <laughs> Welcome, Mr. Uppity. <laughs> Fruit, anyone? Mm. Leave some for me. Well, at least the bananas are good. Oh! I'll be bruised. Oh, I'll look hideous. Yes, you will. As hideous as that hat you're wearing. Well, what about a game of your aunt? Oh, no. Do you start? It's unbelievable. You'd eat everything if we didn't keep an eye on you, Miss Greedy. Try this one, Mr. Uppity. <laughs> it's much better. <laughs> it's made of rubber. How disgusting. Good one, eh? <laughs> Go on, laugh, you pack of idiots. Well, I don't find it funny in the least. <laughs> Goodbye. Oh, oh, my ankle. <laughs> Hello, everybody. Oh, 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 let me be. Don't oh. touch me. What happened? Mr. Arpity has sprained his ankle. It couldn't have happened to a nicer person. It's swelling. Oh, quickly do something, you hopeless lot. We should get him to the hospital as quickly as possible. Faster, driver, faster. I'm in pain. Oh, carefully, doctor. It's a bad sprain, Mr. Uppity, but you were lucky Mr. Rush got you here so quickly. We'll have to keep you here under observation for three days. What? Three days? Here? I'll die of boredom. I despise hospitals. Hmm, does it hurt? <laughs> oh, oh, of course it hurts, you imbecile. For three days, Mr. Uppity was spoiled by his friends. Mr. Greedy brought him a box of chocolates. For heaven's sake. Well, it's the thought that counts. Little Miss Splendid very kindly decorated his room. <laughs> Mr. Mischief brought him a bag of grapes to cheer him up. And three days later, there you go, all better, Mr. Uppity. And not before time. You should thank your friends. They've been very kind to you. Is that really oh. necessary? Well, of course. Uh, well, well, uh, 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 um, uh, That's it. Keep trying, Mr. Uppity. <laughs> <laughs> it's not that difficult. <laughs> well, I, oh, I can't do it, blast a lot of you. Oh. Well, if you're going to be like that, we're leaving. Thank you. No. Oh. I beg your pardon. Uh, could you repeat that, Mr. Uppity? We didn't quite hear you. Oh, no! <laughs>
Little Miss Neat sees spots. Good morning, Miss Neat. And good morning to you, Mr. Perfect. Today, like every other day, Little Miss Neat is cleaning her house from top to bottom. She's expecting a visitor. No one could ever say her house was dirty. Here's Mr. Clumsy, Little Miss Neat's guest. <laughs> OK, I'm coming. Oh, hello, Miss Neat. Come on in, Mr. Clumsy, and please walk on the paper. Oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't matter. I can glue the pieces back together. I brought a chocolate pudding. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. <laughs> you, you'll see, it's delicious. Oh, this thing won't budge. Watch out! Not like that! <laughs> Don't you worry, little Miss Neat. I'll clean everything up. Do you have a mop? No, <laughs> certainly not. After all you've done, I will have to clean my house from top to bottom. I'll have no time to cook dinner. Goodbye, Mr. Clumsy. Well, are you sure you don't want me to help you? <laughs> all day long, little Miss Neat rubbed and scrubbed and cleaned, but it was no good. The spots wouldn't go. Gracious. Whatever will I do? Watch closely. Use Spot Off to get those spots off. There's no time to lose. <laughs> I'd like some Spot Off, please. You're very lucky, Miss Neat. I was just about to close. Oh, you are lucky, Miss Neat. That's the last packet. Use Spot Off to get those spots off. <laughs> Little Miss Neat worked all night long. But the spots were still there. And by morning, Ooh. Little Miss Neat was so upset that she rang her good friend, Mr Fuzzy. Hello? Mr Fuzzy, come quickly. I think I'm going crazy. What, what has happened, Miss Neat? Look at what Mr. Clumsy did to my dining room. <laughs> Come and see. Well, now, what's wrong with your dining room? Oh, can't you see for yourself? But your dining room has never been so clean, Miss Neat. It's the cleanest dining room in the whole of Mr. Land, <laughs> except for mine, of course. But the walls, they're covered in spots. Your glasses, please. Miss Neat, may I see them? Oh, the spots. They've gone. Look, Miss Neat. Spots of chocolate pudding. Oh, no. I spent all night cleaning. <laughs> well, at least now you know the room's clean. Oh, hello, Miss Neat. I've come to say sorry for yesterday. Flowers. How lovely. I must put them in a vase. No, no, no. Let me do it. Uh, no. Just go and sit down. I'll make you a nice cup of tea. I'm so sorry. Never mind, Mr. Clumsy. To work, Miss Neat. <laughs> to work, Mr. Fussy. Yeah.
Mr. Grumble boils over. Oh, I hate them. I can't stand it. Hot, hot, the summer is very hot. Another lovely sunny day for those off to the beach. I hope it rains. Another miserable day for Mr. Grumble. Who are you? I am a wizard. What do you want? I've come to see you because I need your help. My help? Ugh. You know that everybody has gone away on holiday? Yeah, and a good thing too. Except for you and Mr. Worry. Oh, Mr. Worry is more worried than ever. So I've told him he should come around and have a chat with you. But he gets on my nerves. That may be so, oh. but poor Mr. Worry needs to talk to somebody. Oh! oh. 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 oh dear, I think I've broken something. Not at all, Mr. Worry. You haven't broken anything. Well, nothing except my vase. Oh. Oh, goodness gracious, <laughs> what a bother I must be to you. I'll throw him out in a minute. You're grumpy all year round. Just for once, do try to be nice. Uh, I'll try. Oh, -ho! could you open the curtains, please? I'm afraid of the dark. Happy now. Like some coffee? Oh, I couldn't, thank you. Coffee doesn't agree with me. Cup of tea, then. Doctor Make You Well told me I should never drink tea. Oh, well, I don't know. What about herbal tea? Oh, no, thank you. Herbal tea is a medicine, and I would only drink it under doctor's orders. Well, a cushion. A cushion, would you like that? Aren't you ashamed? No, 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 it's all right, Mr. Wherry. Let's go outside for a walk. Life is so difficult. Go on holiday. Go to the seaside. Do something. I'd be too frightened of getting seashells stuck in my feet. Do you like the beach? No, oh, I hate it. Nothing but mosquitoes and kids that cry when you kick their sandcastles over. Right, well, that's our little talk over. Goodness gracious me. A storm. That's all I need. Are you cold? Oh. Oh, 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 oh. At least I can't see it behind there. Oh, oh, oh. Are you still there? Oh, all right, time to go home. I'm going to watch one of those stupid TV programs. Have you forgotten something? Oh, well, I feel terrible out here. I'm scared of the dark. Could you accompany me home? No. Oh, then, do you mind if I sleep here tonight? What is it, Mr. Worry? I'm so worried I can't sleep. <sighs> Would you read me a story? Once upon a time, there was a worried man, and he... Oh, he was worried. Yeah.
Another victory for Little Miss Splendid. Behold the beauty of this image before me. Hello. <clears throat> this is the residence of the simply splendid Little Miss Splendid. Ah, so you want me to take part in the beauty contest? Why, I'd be simply delighted, Mr. Fuddy. I know I'll win as usual. See you anon, my dear. Fifi! Bring the soup to Mumsy. Oh, my poor Fifi. Where is the soap, my little Fifi? Goodness me, you haven't swallowed the soap. I know there's honey in it, but all the same. Mirror, mirror, am I still the fairest of them all? You are still the fairest, fairer by the day. <laughs> Come along now, Fifi, we must go to the hairdressers. Well, what brings you here, little Miss Trouble? The cashier is on holiday, so I'm helping out for a few days. I need a good hairdresser right away. I'm going to a beauty contest. <laughs> Mr. Dizzy? Mr. Dizzy, you can really go to town on Little Miss Splendid. As I did for Little Miss Star. Well, except she doesn't want her hair dyed green. Mm. Got it! I found the perfect hairstyle! A head of red curls! <laughs> Simply divine. Red it is then, uh, madam. Mm. <laughs> Time to take out the curlers. There you are. All ready. I'll never win the beauty contest now. <laughs> if you wear your hat, hmm? no one will notice. You will be hearing from me, Miss Trouble. <gasps> Don't move. I'll go and get it. You're very lucky, still in one piece. Mr. Bum, would you take me to the beauty contest? I'll do my best. I'll get out and push. As you all know, Little Miss Splendid always wins the beauty contest. So this time, to give everyone else a chance, it has been decided to change it to an originality contest. <laughs> I'll never make it in time. Oh. oh, Mr. Strong, I'm in a terrible hurry. Would you mind taking me to the beauty contest? Climb on board. <laughs> oh, no! Horrid things! And here is a last-minute contestant who looks very likely to win our originality contest. So, has she won? The most original contestant. Please tell everyone who you are. You mean you don't recognize me? Come now. I'm Little Miss Splendid. Three cheers for Little Miss Splendid. Hip, hip.
surprise for Mr. Tall. Every morning, Mr. Tall wakes up in a bad mood because the first thing he sees are his legs, and they are long. Very long, really very, very long. Dear, oh dear, I wish I wasn't so tall. Yoo-hoo! Mr. Tall, watch this. <laughs> <laughs> well done, Mr. Greedy. Jolly good dive. What a disaster. How on earth am I going to swim now? <clears throat> oh, thank you, Mr. Tall. I tell you, Mr. Tall, you are too tall. At least being tall isn't a handicap when it comes to playing basketball. Don't mind us, Mr. Tall. Oh! Oh, excuse me, Miss Bossy. I didn't see you there. Do you mind if I join in? Yes, Mr. Tall. It's no fun playing with you. You're much too tall. Wait, that's my ball, Miss Tidy. Too late, Mr. Tall. I have put it away. Oh. Mr. Tall? Yes, Miss Tiny, what is it? I can't see a I am too tall, much too tall, and unhappy, unhappy and tall. Poor Mr. Tall. <laughs> I'll show him he's wrong to think he's too tall. Tomorrow, Mr. Tall shall wake up and be small. Oh, hooray! I'm no longer tall. Oh. What's up, little Miss Greedy? It's me, Mr. Tall. You're not Mr. Tall. Leave me alone, you silly man. I'm off to bake a cake. Mr. Strong. Still fond of eggs, I see. Yes, I am, but these are for a cake. Don't tell me you're off to bake a cake too, little Miss Somersault. Yes, I am, actually. I'm still unhappy. <laughs> They're all going to eat a cake without me. Hello. I don't know you, but I'm delighted to be able to chat with you. You see, nobody wants to talk to me today because they're all at Mr Greedy's house preparing a... Well, I can tell you, they're preparing a surprise for Mr Tall. A surprise for me? No, silly, not you. For Mr Tall. <laughs> What time is he coming? I'm hungry. Mr Nosy, you must know where Mr Tall is. Go and fetch him right now. But I don't know where he is. He's just disappeared. What is all this about? <laughs> we prepared a surprise for Mr Tall. <laughs> but why? Because it's his birthday. And we like him very much, and he's so very kind. And he's always ready to lend a hand. You haven't seen him by any chance. But I am Mr. Tall. Oh! <gasps> Mr. Tall, be tall. Oh, thank you, little Miss Magic. Three cheers for Mr. Tall. Hip, hip, hooray! Hip, hip, hooray! Hip, hip, hooray! The party was a great success. The cake was excellent. And after such a wonderful birthday surprise, Mr. Tall won't be waking up feeling sorry for himself ever again. Thank you, Mr. Tall.
The joke is on Little Miss Naughty. So, Mr. Tom, can you see her? Is she there? No, I can't see Little Miss Naughty anywhere. Only our friends, Mr. Dizzy, Little Miss Greedy, and Mr. Strong laying out the picnic. And way down there, Little Miss Twins. Only Mr. Tickle seems to be missing. I think you're just imagining things, Mr. Nosy. No, really. I thought I saw a big crab coming out of the rocks, but this is what pinched my nose. I'm sure I heard Little Miss Naughty sniggering. Well, I certainly can't see her. Let's not ruin our picnic. We'll go down and join our friends. Now, that's odd. What is odd? <coughs> Little Miss Naughty. She's there. I saw her. I did. She's in the cabin. Oh, oh my. I must warn the others. Hope you don't mind, but I'll take the shortcut. That's it. Out to sea, Mr. Dizzy. There you go. <laughs> Mr. Man Overboard. I'm all wet. <laughs> oh, there was a large cork in there this morning. <laughs> now who can that be <laughs> laughing like that? It's little Miss Naughty. She's hiding in the cabin. <laughs> What a mischief she is. She deserves a good lesson. Okay, everybody. We can come up with a plan while we eat. Wait! <gasps> Stop! Whatever you do, don't use the salt cellar. Miss Naughty has filled it with sun. Hard-boiled oh. eggs without salt? You must be joking. Can you help us, Little Miss Twins? Of course. Of course. Come along, then. We're going to see if our little plan works. <laughs> oh, my sandcastle! <laughs> Guess who? Not fair. There are two of you and you others, and I'm the naughty one around here. <laughs> Come on, everyone, let's eat. Yes, yes, that would like a little exercise, exercise to make you hungry. Make you hungry. <laughs> hey, I spent all afternoon watching you eat, and now I'm famished. Don't you have anything left I could nibble on? Hmm, I have a hard-boiled egg, but... There you go. It's so much better with salt.
Mr. Cheerful doffs his hat. Three steps forward. Three steps back. Then two steps forward. And the band bows to the lady. Like that. Come on, Mr. Skinny, it's your turn. Oh, no, I'm too skinny to dance. And I'm definitely too stiff. And I'm too shy. Come along, everyone. It's only for fun. Join the dance and stop worrying. Nobody but you notices your faults. Mr. Cheerful is right. We like you the way you are. He is not skinny. He is not shy. He is not prim. My arms are too long. But that doesn't stop me from taking three steps forward, three steps back, then two steps forward, and bow. Well done, Mr. Tickle. You see, dancing makes you happy. Come on, everyone in place. Mr. Cheerful, you'll get soaked. My hat will protect me from the rain. <laughs> you know, Mr. Cheerful made me laugh so much last night with his dance and his hat that I have been practicing. Ah, <laughs> yes, yes. Uh, and the hat was very good. Yes, well, you see, I... <laughs> what a change. Anyone would think you had tickled her. Mr. Cheerful's hat must be magic. I feel much less shy. <laughs> your bag down, Miss Prim. You don't need it while you dance. No, no. Without my bag, I feel lost. I am not myself. But if you like, I can take my hat off. No, no. Whatever you do, don't take off your hat. It's very important for dancing. It, it's elegant. It gives balance. It protects, protects you from, from the, the rain. rain. Oh. Yes, and from the sun, from sleep and bees. Tra la la, la la la, la la la. Tra la la, la la la, la la la. Tra la la. I think Mr. Cheerful is a little crazy under his hat. You mean it's his hat which makes him cheerful? Yes, I think Mr. Cheerful has a secret under his hat. Well, Mr. Tickle, it's up to you to find out. Come on, everyone in place. Come on, let's go. Music. Three steps forward. Three steps back. Then two steps forward and bow. Please give that back to me. Without my hat, I feel lost. But surely you're not going to let a silly thing like that stop you. Oh, oh. You're right. Music! Mm. Three steps forward. Three steps back, then two steps forward, and bow. Oh, 
Little Miss Scatterbrain puts everything in turmoil. Today, Little Miss Scatterbrain is going shopping to prepare for her birthday party. Hello, Mr. Tall. Oh. Hello. Oh, um, oh yes, little fish. Hello, little Miss Scatterbrain. Can I help you? I'll have three large onions, five tomatoes and two courgettes. Are you making a soup, little Miss Scatterbrain? Uh, no, fruit salad. I have guests coming. It's my birthday. Oh, well, happy birthday, little Miss Scatterbrain. Quickly, stop thief! My car, my car! But that's odd. My car's not behaving at all normally. That's odd. I don't see my house anywhere. Excuse me, I'm looking for my house. Do you know where it is? Mm. That way? Okay. Thank you. My complaint, I've come to withdraw, whistle, PC. Someone has returned my car. Oh, please sit down, Mr. Topsy Turvy. Thank you, no, stand, <laughs> I'd rather. Ah. Home at last. Odd, my kitchen is pink. I always thought it was blue. I really am a scatterbrain. Mr. Jelly, I hope everything's all right. I'm scared. I heard a knock at the door. Oh no, someone's broken into my house. Oh no, he's smashing up my house. It's incredible. I can't find anything today. Ah, there it is. <laughs> no time to lose. And now to work. Oh no! Someone has come to. Hello, Tittledown Police Department. PC Whistle speaking. How may I help you? It's Mr. Jelly. There is a thief in my house. Don't you move, Mr. Jelly. I'll be right over. Hmm. A thief at Mr. Jelly's. Perhaps there is a connection with your stolen car, Mr. Topsy Turvy. Would you like to come along? Follow you, just. Thank you. No. My car, is that? Just as I thought. The thief who stole your car and the burglar at Mr. Jelly's are one and the same. Stand back, Mr. Topsy Turvy. This could be dangerous. He's in the kitchen. Mr. Jelly, stay where you are. I love fruit salad. Happy birthday to me. Happy birthday to someone. Please, you are under arrest. Oh, PC Whistle. How sweet of you to come oh, oh, oh. to my birthday party. Little Miss Scatterbrain? I say, little Miss Scatterbrain, you've certainly put everything in a turmoil around here. This is definitely one April day I won't forget. What? Is it April? Oh, no. My birthday isn't today. It's in three months. Oh, I make this mistake every year. <laughs> You're just in time, Mr. Greedy. Uh -huh. Let's eat. Uh. Onions, tomatoes, flowers here. Oh, my. What was I thinking of? I've used vegetables instead of fruit. <laughs> Mmm, I think it's delicious. If you don't want any more, I'd be happy to finish it up. Well, I think it's time oh. for me to go home. But you are home, little Miss Scatterbrain. Bye-bye, and thank you again for having me. My car? She's taking my car. Stop! <laughs> Stop! <laughs> <laughs>
Mr. Clever's daft bet. Little Miss Fun, Mr. Jelly, and Mr. Clever are sitting on the terrace of their holiday chalet. Ah, this is the life. I've an idea. Let's spend the night in the tent. I don't think that's for me, my back, you see, but Mr. Jelly would love to, I'm sure. Not away. What an idea. Never in my life. It's so wonderful sleeping under the stars, Mr. Jelly. Go on. See, Mr. Jelly, you were just afraid to ask. But the mountains are full of danger. Go on, Mr. Jelly. You're not afraid of anything. Come on, Mr. Jelly. Nothing ventured, nothing gained. Exactly. Didn't you hear what happened to Mr. Bum, who risked his life parachuting from a plane? Let me tell you. <laughs> <laughs> What a fright! Look, I've got goosebumps! I'll make you a bet. If you two sleep in the tent all night, I'll make a parachute jump tomorrow. What a good idea! We accept your bet! No, oh, no, no, no! It's not a good idea at all! Count on me, Mr. Jelly. I'm as reliable as Mr. Brave. But... Come on, let's put up the tent. Tomorrow, Mr. Clever, you're going parachute jumping. You have my word. Oh, no, what have I done? I can't jump out of a plane. I must find a way to make them come back inside. It's cold. Oh, we've got good warm sleeping bags. The nights are long, you know. Oh, he's right, they are long. Oh. We like that, don't we, Mr. Jelly? We love long nights, don't we? Now, that's enough pretending. You have perfectly good bedrooms in the chalet. I mean, out here, you'll be cold. You'll be afraid. Off to bed with you, Mr. Clever. It's getting late. Oh! Of the mountain. Oh. Help! Help! Oh no, a ghost! Oh. Back to bed, Mr. Clever. Oh! Oh, oh no! <laughs> Funny wolf. Now do go and get some rest, Mr. Clever. Don't forget your parachute jumping tomorrow. What was that? Thunder! It's a storm! That's only Mr. Clever who's scared out of his wits. Now do go to sleep. Little Miss Fun, now I can't hear anything. That's because Mr. Clever has gone to bed. Now go to sleep. Oh, there's a spider in my sleeping bag. It's biting me. Oh, what's happening? Oh. That was clever. Now, what about our bed? We were supposed to sleep in the tent all night. Morning already. What luck. <laughs> they didn't sleep in the tent after all. I won the bet. I won the bet. I won the bet. Good morning. Oh. Good. Oh. Ah! Ready for your parachute jump, Mr. Clever? <laughs> <laughs>
What a mess, little Miss Helpful. Wait a minute, little Miss Neat. Let me help you with that dustbin. No, thank you, little Miss Helpful. I'll be fine. Go on, let me do huh? it. <laughs> thank you, little Miss Helpful. You're welcome. Little Miss Helpful loves giving people a helping hand, oh. but often with disastrous results. Just look at poor old Mr. Bump. Any other day, he would slip on this banana skin. Look out! But not today, thanks to Little Miss Helpful. Oh, thank you, Little Miss Helpful. You're welcome. Little Miss Helpful is happy because she is starting a new job at Mr. Uppity's house. Now you know that I am the most important man in this town. I therefore need the people who work for me to be the very best. Have you ever worked for anyone before? Of course, Mr. Uppity. I used to be Mr. Strong's cook. <laughs> wow! I've never seen anyone make an omelette that quickly. <laughs> hmm. Is that all you've done? Oh, no. I used to clean Mr. Mess's house. Ah, now that's what I call clean. <laughs> Mr. Messy was very happy with me. Not bad. Is that it? You must be joking. I was Mr. Dizzy's teacher. I was an acting coach for Little Miss Chatterbox. I did Mr. Lazy's alarm call. Good. Those seem like good references to me. To start with, I'd like you to dust all my precious ornaments. And do be careful, they're very rare. Well, all seems quiet at Mr. Uppity's house. My ornaments! Oh, silly me! I tripped over the rug. Ah! It sounds like someone needs help. Don't worry. I'll stick them back together again. No, don't you touch a thing. You have a problem? I'll sort it out. Oh, ornaments repaired. Goodness, a miracle. Well done, little Miss Magic. You are amazing. Oh! <laughs> You are a real walking disaster, Little Miss Helpful. Just look at my hair. Wait, let me tidy it up. No, no. No, thank you. Uh, oh, dear. Little Miss Magic has lost her magic wand. I must give it back to her. Hello, Mrs Crumb. Could you please tell me where Little Miss Magic lives? It's along there on your left. I'm waiting for the repairman. My bread roll machine is broken down. That's no problem. Bread rolls for everyone. Ooh. Come on, you old banger. Get going. I'm in a rush. Make this car run again as fast as possible. <laughs> <laughs> This ladder is too short. Ladder? Be tall! We? At last, Little Miss Helpful arrived at Little Miss Magic's house, and not before time. Quickly! My wand! Now I must help all those people you have helped, Little Miss Helpful. Oh! oh. Don't worry, Little Miss Magic. I will mend it for you.
Little Miss Tidy and the winning ticket. It isn't always easy to deliver Little Miss Tidy's post. Hmm? In fact, it's rather difficult. Let's see. All the red dresses together, all the blue skirts together. Your paper, Little Miss Tidy. Thank you, Mr Stamp. Just a minute. You deserve a tip after all that. Uh... Well, I seem to have put my buttons in my purse, so my money must be um in my sewing box. <laughs> what a silly me. That's what comes of being too tidy. You end up losing everything. See you tomorrow then, Little Miss Tidy. By the way, don't forget the lottery draw. That's right, the lottery. Let's see now. The jackpot goes to number 777. It's me! Oh, my! I've won! Quick, let's go and claim the jackpot. Oh, no. I simply can't go into town and leave my kitchen in such an awful mess. Goodness, just look at that. What a mess. Right, here we go. me. I almost forgot. Well, now, where shall I put the sugar? Hello, little Miss Tidy. I thought I'd drop by because I noticed that your window isn't shut properly. Of course it isn't. It's wide open to air the room. I'm having a good tidy up. You see, I just don't know where to put the sugar. What? You're going to put it away like that? Why not? What's wrong? But come now, you really must wrap up each lump of sugar in paper to protect it. Are you sure? Oh, certain. And what's more, I even wrap each lump in a different coloured paper to differentiate between them. I must say, I'd never thought of that. Little Miss Needs washes her sugar before putting it away, but then, of course, it dissolves. <laughs> yes, but she's a real fusspot, whereas you and I, we're <laughs> well organised. Well, I must be going now. I have to buy the paper to find out the lottery results. I'm sure a tidy person like you would have today's paper. I need to check the lottery numbers. No? Too bad. Bye-bye. Uh, yes, Mr Rush. Oh, there goes Mr Bean. Ooh, a butterfly. People collect butterflies, so they must be worth a lot of money. <laughs> I'll get you. I'll get you. Ah, got you. <laughs> All mine. Oh, no. It isn't a butterfly. It's a lottery ticket. 777. Seven, seven. Ooh, that's the winning number. I'm rich. I'm rich. This ticket isn't mine. It came from little Miss Tidy's house. Hmm. Well, she'll never know. And no. No, that isn't honest. I may be mean, but I'm not dishonest. Now then, my kitchen is all tidy. But where on earth did I put the lottery ticket? Hello, little Miss Tidy. Have you lost something by any chance? No, no. Well, yes, a lottery ticket. I think I found it here. That's worth just a small reward, isn't it? Or even a big reward, Mr Mean. Keep that winning ticket. You've earned it. Really? Promise? <laughs> You're not going to change your mind, you're sure? Quite sure. What on earth do you think I'd do with all that money? I've simply got nowhere to put it. Oh, I've got plenty of places to put it. <laughs> <laughs> Now then, where was I? Oh, yes. Do I put this striped skirt away with the red dresses or with the blue skirts? I know what. I'll dye them all yellow. Yellow does suit me, don't you think?
Mr. Dizzy promises the moon. What are you doing with all those books, Mr. Dizzy? Hmm? Don't tell me you've learnt to read, Mr. Dizzy. <laughs> I thought as much there's nothing but pictures in them. Mr. Dizzy reads oh. pictures. <laughs> What is so funny? There's nothing wrong with picture books. He can't even read. <laughs> <laughs> How dizzy. Can't even read. Ah. Oh. Uh, hello, Mr. Dizzy. Hello, little Miss Greedy. Hello, Mr. Cheerful. But why are you crying? Everybody makes fun of me because I'm not very clever, because I can't read, because... Mr. Dizzy! Oh, Mr. Dizzy! Will you come, Will you come and tell us tell stories, stories, please? <laughs> Great! <laughs> Mr. Dizzy, you are a wonderful person. Yes, it's the people who laugh at you who are not very clever. Can't you see how children adore you? And all because you are the kindest man they know. It's true. You're so kind that I bet you would go as far as promising them the moon just to please them. Promising the moon? Now, where has it gone? Oh, Mr. Moon, please don't go away. I promised I would get you down from there. Oh, oh. Oh, come on, Mr. Moon. Let's stop playing hide and seek, shall we? If only you let me come and get you, all the children will love me. I've got you this time. Oh! <laughs> and all the washing was in an heap on the ground. My ace stack had fallen over, and all my ducks were upset. <laughs> that is unusual indeed. It was as if someone had come looking for something. <gasps> Hello, Mr. Tizzy. You seem to have your head in the clouds today. The clouds? No, it's the moon I'm looking for, Mr. Cheerful. Do you have any idea where it is? Oh, it only comes out at night. In the daytime, it hides. Oh, I see. Playing hide-and-seek again. Then how can I keep my promise to the children? I think I understand. <laughs> Shh, look out. He's coming. Hello, Mr Moon. I've come to get you. I promised the children. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, no. Please don't go away. Oh! Oh! I've got it. I've got it. Now I can keep my promise. Hello, Mr. Tizzy. How are you today? Very well, thank you. You see, I promised the moon to someone. <laughs> oh, goodness me, but you have got dozens of them. Uh, yes, just one moon wouldn't have been enough to make all the children happy, so I made lots of boons out of silver cardboard, and now there is one for everybody. <laughs> hey! 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 Do you have another surprise for us in there? Yes, today I have brought you your very own moon. <laughs> Yippee! Thank, Thank you, you, Mr. Dizzy! Dizzy. <laughs> This is our little secret, eh? We'll let them think it's the real moon. <laughs> we, we won't, won't give, give the game, game away. Game away. <laughs> oh! We love Mr. Dizzy. Three cheers for Mr. Dizzy. Thank <laughs> you.
Mr. Forgetful, the world's best actor. Baba, black sheep, uh, uh, have you, uh, oh dear, have you any, uh, 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 Oh, really, Mr. Forgetful, I suggest you learn your lines before going on stage. Have we met? Have we met? I'm Mr. Grumble, your drama teacher. I adore the theatre. I would love to act. I don't think there's much chance of your doing that. Yes, Mr. Black Sheep. You are driving me crazy! Oh. <gasps> How dare you interrupt us! I am Mr. Apathy, the world's greatest film director, and I'm looking for an actor. Huh. The world's best director. Just who does he think he is? Any wool? Wool, of course, that's it. The sheep is supposed to have some wool. Oh, hey. Mr. Forgetful, what am I going to do with you? But, oh, Mr. World's greatest director, allow me to introduce Mr. Forgetful, the world's best actor. Oh, really? Oh, you're hired. At last, a role worthy of me. I am Maid Marian in the new Mr. Uppity production, Robin Hood and the Maid. I have stretched Maid Marian's hat for you. It might fit on your head now. My dear Miss Tar, you're on in a minute. Ah. Uh. Whoa. Come any closer and I'll run you through, you vile villain. Oh, Maid Marian, how my heart yearns for you. <laughs> this time, I'll know my lines by heart. Just in case, to jog the old memory. Quiet, everybody. Action! <laughs> Our paths would cross once again, Robin Hood. <laughs> Have we met? Cut! <laughs> Our paths would cross once again, Robin Hood. Oh, 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 Maid Marian, how my heart yearns for mm. you. <laughs> Cut! Oh, my handsome Robin, here you are. You have come to my rescue. Uh, whoa, you vile villain. Come any closer and I'll run you through. <gasps> Nobody's ever spoken to me like that. <laughs> oh, I am sorry. I didn't mean it. Please stop crying. I'm so upset. I'm afraid I can't stop crying now. <laughs> really, Aunt, I hadn't planned the scene like that, but it's hilarious. The children will love it. And the Golden Duck Award for Best Actress and Actor goes to... Mr. Grumble, please open the envelope. The Golden Ducks for Best Actress and Actor are awarded to Miss Starr and to... <gasps> it can't be... Mr. Forgetful! Oh. Oh, little Miss Starr, Mr. Forgetful, come onto the stage and collect your awards. Mr. Forgetful, please. The audience would love to hear you recite something. Uh, 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 Baba, Black Sheep, um, have you any uh, 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 ducks, geese, uh, chicken?
Hello, Pizza Express. Oh, no, there's nothing to eat. Oh. oh, express pizza delivered in a flash. Perfect. Exactly what I need. Hello, this is Mr. Bump. I would like a tomato and cheese pizza with extra mushrooms. Ah, oh, it's you, Mr. Busy. Oh, hello, Mr. Bump. Here's your pizza. Hello, uh, Mr. Busy. We have another 42 pizzas to deliver before midday. Must be going. Look out. Here comes your pizza. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Busy. Wonderful. My pizza. Mr. Busy, could you take me into town with you? Here. Climb in beside the pizzas, Miss Tiny. I'm hungry. I'm hungry. Wow, that was close. Oh, I almost ate you. And now I really must go. Don't worry, I'll make up for lost time. Oh, oh drat, my scooter is broken. I'll have to run. Yes, like the grocer who was absent on account of his cousin's wedding. You remember the one with the red hair, exactly the same colour as yours. In fact, she goes to the same hairdresser as me, who is actually the cousin by marriage. Of my aunt's cousin's uncle. Someone at the door. Oh, oh. Coming, coming, coming. Here I am, it's me. Oh, it's you, Mr. Busy. Come in, come in. Aren't you a distant cousin of Mr. Rush, who is himself related to Mr. Fussy? Here, Miss Chatterbox, try this new pizza with Toffee Toppy. Toffee? How interesting. I've never heard of this before. <laughs> Goodbye, little Miss Chatterbox. <laughs> How are you doing? Things could be better. My scooter's broken. You must hurry up. We're swamped with orders. Yes, I have to deliver my pizzas and I'm terribly late. Then climb in. Another for Miss Shy. Another for Mr. Brave. And one pizza for Mr. Strong. Another for Miss Splendid. Fine, thanks. I've delivered the 42 pizzas. That's great. Only a It's no problem delivering pizzas when you take the orders, little miss. Uh, Dotty?
Mr. Clumsy, head butler. Yuck! I hate horrible, nasty puddles. Especially as you've just been groomed. Hello, Miss Splendid. That's right, it's Mr. Clumsy. He's busy cleaning up. Oh! Good no. You idiot! You haven't heard the last of this. Oh, I am sorry, Mr. Bear. I didn't mean to make Miss Splendid's dog dirty. I've had enough, Mr. Clumsy. Oh, no. Don't give me the sack. Oh! Now look what you've done. Here, do pull yourself together. Thank you, Mr. Bear. Oh. Mr. Clumsy, you're fired. I must find a job. Ah, head butler required? Please contact a little Miss Star. You understand, Mr. Uh, what was your name again? Mr. Clumsy. Well, you <laughs> see, Mr. Clumsy, I shall be inviting all the important people in Tiddletown. My party must be a big success. You can count on me, little Miss Star. Perfect. I'll let you get on with the sandwiches while I go and have my hair done. Mm. What can I put in the sandwiches? Oh, I know. I'll make omelette sandwiches with lots of herbs and spices. Oh, Dad. Almost forgot the herbs. <laughs> oh, hello, Mr. Rappity. Oh, no, not you. I am organizing Miss Star's party. Shall I look after your umbrella for you? Huh? Oh, Mr. Oh. Clumsy, you have forgotten to do the dusting, and you haven't even done the washing up. Mm. Oh, the pleasure is all mine, my dear Miss Splendid. You look radiant. Actually, I had you in mind for a leading role in my new film. Oh, he's going to give my role to her. Well, we'll see about that. Oh, what can I do for you? Oh! oh. Just get rid of Little Miss Splendid. Consider it done. Oh, don't worry, my little friends. No one's going to eat you. <laughs> I just need you for decoration. Yeah. My dear Mr. Arpiter, I'm so glad that you recognize my extraordinary artistic <laughs> talent. <laughs> Apparently, my skills as an actress have considerably impressed you. <laughs> oh, my goodness, how ghastly! Mm. <laughs> oh, yuck! Dear Miss Star, I knew the role was meant for you and not for Little Miss Splendid. I'll forgive you, Mr. Appity. Mr. Clumsy, will you please bring Mr. Appity his hat and scarf? Oh, mine was spotlessly clean. Oh! Ah! I think I'd better find myself another job.
Mr. Impossible's lesson. Look, here comes Mr. Impossible. Oh. A little bit shy. You'll never get any bread if you keep missing your turn. That barbecue smells yummy. Oh, my bread rolls. Where have my bread rolls got to? The baker hasn't delivered them. Ah, oh, I'm not going to let him get away with that. What an unpleasant man Mr. Uppity is. Get out of my way now! Don't bother <gasps> saying hello. <laughs> oh, well, there's no bread left. What do you mean, no bread left? I ordered bread rolls, and I will have bread rolls. Stand back. Here they are. Here they are. <laughs> Useless. Why, you can't even take one step forward without falling. And as for you, you're no better. That Mr. Uppity deserves to be taught a really good lesson. But... Mr. Uppity's house is on fire. I must call the firemen, but I can't pluck up the courage. <laughs> Come on, you can do it. Just shout. Oh, shout, but I don't know how. It was then that Mr. Impossible had an idea. Well, really, where are those firemen? They won't be long. <gasps> oh, oh. Where is your garden hose, Mr. Uppity? There's no way a bunch of useless buffoons like you can put out that fire. <laughs> Stand back, will you? It's dangerous. Stand back. That's impossible. No, nothing's impossible. Keep clear. Stand back. Don't panic. Keep clear. Stand back. But the fire's been put out. Well done. You've done a really magnificent. You took your time getting here. And you call yourselves firemen? It's a good job that... Uh, well, I, uh, um, you were saying, Mr. Uppity? That, uh, that, 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 uh, Oh, that little Miss Shy, Mr. Bum, Mr. Clumsy, help you, is that it? Well, what do we say now, Mr. Uppity? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, uh, thank you. Oh, that's, well, that's impossible. impossible. That's impossible. But true.
Little Miss Star goes to Jollywood. Little Miss Star dreams of going to Jollywood and becoming a film star. She already pictures herself as the actress in the film. Cut. Perfect. Well done. You were simply great as usual. <laughs> Would you accept my humble invitation to dinner? Miss Star dreams that Mr. Bean is her director. Thank you. It's really most generous of you, but I'm exhausted. James, take me home. Yes, madam. She even dreams that Mr. Uppity is her chauffeur. Excuse me, little Miss Star. What are your plans now, Miss, uh, uh, Star? Even Mr. Lazy, Mr. Forgetful and Mr. Dizzy are in her dream. A gentleman, please. Little Miss Star is very tired. They say that you are getting married soon. Is it true? So you adore, um, uh, 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 broccoli? How old were you when your first tooth appeared? Little Miss Star really is dreaming. She imagines Mr. Bean as her producer. Her chauffeur is Mr. Uppity, and it is Mr. Dizzy, Mr. Lazy, and Mr. Forgetful who play the role of journalists. They really don't look the part. These journalists are exhausting. Stop the car, James. I want an ice cream. Yes, Miss Star. A vanilla cornet. A double one, please. Oh! Oh, look! It's Little Miss Star! Oh, look! Star. It's Little Miss Star, the film star! An autograph, An please. autograph, please! A signed photo, Little Miss Star! A signed photograph, Little Miss Star! <sighs> Home, James. As fast as you can. I'm exhausted! <laughs> Newsflash, this afternoon, the famous film star, Little Miss Star, was seen buying an ice cream in the middle of town. We have it on good authority that it was vanilla. Oh, what wouldn't I give to be back in my lovely little home with all my old friends again? In her dream, Miss Star lives in Mr. Uppity's house. I'm exhausted, James. I want to be alone, alone. Find me a place where I will be protected from all these awful people, please. Leave it to me, madam. <laughs> Nobody will come and disturb you here, little Miss Star. This island is unknown. Huh? It isn't even marked on the map. Oh, thank you, James. It's strange, but uh, you remind me of someone. Why do you like vanilla ice cream so much? What, what was your great-grandmother's Christian uh, uh, in the name? This way, little Miss Star. Oh, no! Go away! Go away, you bunch of idiots! For you, it was just a dream. Ooh. Vanilla cornet, a double one, if you please. Oh! Well done. You've just bought the 1,000th snow gel ice cream, which means you have won. Are you ready? A day out in Jollywood with your favorite star. Hooray! 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 Oh, no! no. Thank <laughs> you.
Mr. Clever's invention. Today, little Miss Giggles has invited Mr. Grumble around for a cup of tea. Mm. <laughs> Do you believe in all this alien business, Mr. Grumble? <laughs> what alien business? There have been several sightings of mysterious objects flying over Misterland. <laughs> it has even been on the news. <laughs> Those TV reporters must take us for total fools. <gasps> oh, look at that! <laughs> <gasps> Quick, come inside, Miss Giggles. <laughs> I've always dreamed of meeting a real Martian. <laughs> oh, Mr. Yeah. Clever! Hello, everyone. Do you think it's funny scaring people like that, Mr. Clever? You're looking at a unique invention. Yet another brainwave from yours truly. This is the fastest machine in the whole of Misterland. Come in, I'll show you round. Oh. <gasps> oh. Look. This is the planet Mars, which is millions of miles from Misterland. If I press this button, up, I'll be on Mars in several hours. Are you making fun of us, Mr. Clever? You are saying that if we press this button... No! <laughs> Let me out of here. Oh. oh! We have made it! We are on Mars. You can't see a thing, it's all dark. Yes, well, huh? now that we're here, uh, let's have a look around. Are you sure you won't come, Mr. Grumble? No way, I'm staying here. <laughs> As you like. See you later, Mr. Grumble. <laughs> hey, wait for me. Hang on. <laughs> this is spooky. What a strange object. Hmm, <laughs> it's only an old spring. Now, don't talk nonsense, Mr. Grumble. I'm absolutely convinced that we have landed amongst the people who are light years ahead of us. Our first object is to make contact with the local inhabitants. Oh, over there! I see someone! Oh. <laughs> oh, success! I just knew this planet was inhabited. Dread, it has disappeared. It looked like a worm to me. <laughs> Oh, don't be silly, Miss Giggles. It was a real, genuine Martian, that's for sure. I know all about them. Stop where you are. Oh, <laughs> Martians! Oh, we're under attack. I arrest you in the name of the law. Stop, Mr. Grumble. Oh, I want to go home to Mr. Land, to my house. <laughs> oh. <gasps> Oh, mercy, please. We come in peace. We don't mean any harm. Mr. Clever, Mr. Grumble, little Miss Giggles, what are you doing here? <laughs> huh? Visiting Mars, PC Whistle. <laughs> what are you doing here? <laughs> You're visiting Mars? Uh, thanks to this invention, yet another of my brainwaves, we have covered the millions of miles between Mr. Land and the planet Mars in just three hours and 33 seconds precisely. <laughs> But mm -hmm. you're on the public rubbish dump, Mr. Clever. Less mm -hmm. than a mile from your house. <laughs> Three hours to go one mile. <laughs> what a genius you are, Mr. Clever. I must have made a mistake somewhere. And I'm very glad you did. <laughs> <laughs>
Little Miss Chatterbox finds her calling. Little Miss Chatterbox is holding up the queue as usual. For a really good stew, the onions are vital. Mm. No, they're essential. Have mm. you been waiting long, Mr Funny? <laughs> oh, no, not long, Little Miss Sunshine. Only half an hour. Only half an hour? Ah, but I know hundreds of recipes. Well, I refuse to wait a second longer. But you have only just arrived, Mr Grumpy. So what? Furthermore, the other day I had the idea of writing a cookery book. You see, it isn't enough simply having the right ingredients to make a good meal. No, cooking is like music. It's a question of proportion. I've had enough of this, little Miss Chatterbox. Oh, hello, Mr Grumpy. I'm sure you would buy my cookery book. No. Go away and tell someone else about your stupid book. Oh. Oh, Miss Chatterbox, do come along with me. I think I have just the job for you. At the Tittletown Theatre, there was much excitement as everyone rehearsed for tonight's show. <laughs> oh, goody, learn. I think I'll take a basket of cakes round to... I, um, uh... uh I think I'll take a basket of cakes round to my poor grandmother. You see, she has caught a nasty cold and is tucked up in bed. Mr Happy! Please tell the prompter to be quiet. I do know oh. my lines. Ooh. Well, it doesn't sound like it. And the wolf, he should have a deep voice. Ha, ha, ha. Oh, goody. Lunch. Are you saying I speak through my nose? Oh. Oh, please, everyone, the performance is this evening. We have no time to lose. Who's there? It's Little Red Riding Hood, Grandmother. Just lift the latch. I am too weak to get up. Oh, be quiet, little Miss Chatterbox. You're not the star of the show. What are you doing? And if that's the way it's going to be, you can find someone else. What shall we do now? Oh, Miss Chatterbox, would you like to take Miss Star's place? Oh, oh yes! Yes, I've always wanted to play this. I refuse to continue with someone who is always butting in. You can find someone else. Well, really, no one around here knows their lines. <laughs> what do you mean, I know my lines? Yes, but you don't know how to speak in a deep voice. A wolf must have a deep voice. Oh, all right, you play the wolf. I'm oh. coming with you. People are already queuing outside to come and see the play tonight. What can we do? <laughs> Who's out there? It's Little Red Riding Hood, Grandmother. Just lift the latch. I'm too weak to get up. Oh, Grandmother, what big ears you have. All the better to hear you with, my child. Oh, Grandmother, what big teeth you have. Oh, the better to eat you with. Mm. You will wait to congratulate little Miss Chatterbox, won't you? I mean, wasn't she magnificent? Huh. When it comes to talking... And talking... And more talking... Well done. Our friends think you were remarkable. They all want to congratulate you. Yes, you were. Excellent. <laughs> Brilliant. What happened? Did the cat get your tongue? Oh, I've lost my voice. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>
Mr. Skinny's incredible bet. Every morning, Mr. Skinny jumps out of bed, runs to the bathroom and weighs himself. Oh, no! And each morning, Mr. Skinny feels a little sadder. He would love to have a hearty appetite. Oh. Mr. Skinny spends most of his time on his own. I know why no one ever asks me around. It's because I never eat anything. Oh, what wouldn't I give to be friends with Mr. Greedy? Oh. Hello? Oh, hello, little Miss Scatterbrain. Lunch? Oh, I'd love to come. Yes, all right. See you later. Oh, uh, come in. Oh, no! Oh, what's wrong, Mr. Uh, uh, Greedy? <laughs> Little Miss Scatterbrain didn't really mean to invite me. It was Mr. Greedy she wanted. It's not fair. <laughs> Mr. Skinny? Mr. Skinny? Oh. Yes, Little Miss Trouble? Mr. Greedy says you are so skinny that you could slip between a wall and a poster. Wait a minute, will you? <laughs> oh. Well, Mr. Greedy is right, but it's not fair of him to make fun of me. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Greedy, since you think I'm so very thin, I bet you that by tomorrow morning I will be bigger than you. Goodbye, Mr. Greedy. No. <laughs> <laughs> it's lunchtime, and Mr. Skinny is trying to eat twice as much as usual. Really? One miserable extra chip isn't going to make me bigger than Mr. Greedy. I know. Just this once, I think I'll have tea. So Mr. Skinny went to Little Miss Greedy's tea room for the first time in his life. Oh, there, Mr. Skinny. Eat that and you'll be big in no time. But I'm really not hungry. That will do, Mr. Skinny. If you want to get big, you will have to eat. Hmm. Hooray! I'm heavier! Hooray! Oh, no. I don't believe it. Oh, I'm no heavier. I'd better go and tell Mr. Greedy that the bet is up. Ooh, how fat you are. Ooh. What did you say, little Miss Contrary? I said, how fat you are. Oh, no. You always get things back to front, little Miss Contrary. I'm skinny. But you have just given me a great idea. I must do the opposite to win my bet. Mr Greedy was about to sit down to an enormous lunch when... It's your turn now, Mr Tickle. <laughs> oh, stop it, Mr Tickle. Someone off me. <laughs> and the next morning... Your turn, Mr Greedy. One? Oh, well done, Mr. Skinny. You are heavier than me. You are the winner. Oh, well, well, after all those tickles, I'm not hungry anymore. Mr. Creedy, I would like to ask you something. Why did you make fun of my being skinny? Me? I'd never do such a thing. Little Miss Trouble told me that. Oh, now I see this was just another one of her nasty tricks. Oh, maybe, but after all this activity, I could eat an ox. Oh, I know. Why don't you come round to my house and we'll have breakfast together, eh? Mr Skinny, I bet I finish my breakfast ages before you. You're on, Mr Greedy. Ready, Ooh, ready steady, steady go! go! <laughs> How greedy you are, Mr Greedy. How skinny you are, Mr. Skinny.
Little Miss Busy, DIY teacher. There, Doctor. I've repaired the squeaky floor, as well as the sink, and checked the electrical wiring. Can I do anything else? Oh, I don't think so, Little Miss Busy. Oh, dear, oh, dear. What's wrong? I just hate having nothing to do. So many people in this town are useless with their hands. You could teach them. Good idea. I will give do-it-yourself lessons. <laughs> Mr. Lazy could certainly do with a few lessons from Little Miss Busy. And so could Mr. Puck. And <laughs> Mr. Dizzy. No. <laughs> oh, dear, Mr. Silly. <laughs> And finally, of course, Mr. Clumsy. Oh, <laughs> oh hello, Mr. Clumsy. Here, then. This is for you. <coughs> Thank you, Mr. Stamp. Tired of your fingers being all thumbs? Come and join the little Miss Busy's do-it-yourself school. Very well, Mr. Dizzy. Do come along. And now it's our turn. Oh, but where has he got to? Yoo-hoo! Mr. Bump! He was thirsty. Perhaps he has gone. <laughs> oh, nice carpet, Miss Busy. Now, I'm just going to check that you're all here. Mr. Clumsy. Oh, a present? Mr. Bump? Oh, 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 present. Mr. Lazy. Mr. Dizzy. Mr. Dizzy. But Peekaboo, it's me. Mr. Silly. I don't think he's here. Now, today we are going to build a hut in the garden. It's very simple. First of all, you have to build the framework. Oh. And then you concentrate on the roof. Oh. All that's left now is to put up the walls and the door. Oh, excuse me, Miss Busy, but there's nothing left for us to do. <laughs> that's what you think. Uh, Mr Bum, would you please come in and look round the house which I have just built? Now, you have all seen how a house is built. It's your turn to build it again. Oh, no. Oh, oh. Well then, little Miss Busy, how is your new school coming along? Your idea was simply wonderful, Dr Make You Well. My pupils are making excellent progress. <laughs> What are you doing, Mr. Dizzy? I'm watering the house to make it grow. Throw me up some nails. Mr. Silly, I think I'll take advantage of being up here to strengthen the roof. Ah, coming up. Well then, Doctor, aren't they wonderful, my little pupils? I'm so happy. I'll never have a minute's rest. <laughs> we will have to build and rebuild. Well done, everyone. Thank you, little Miss Busy. Thank you very, very much. <laughs> Thank you, little Miss Busy. <laughs>
Little Miss Chatterbox goes to sea town. Little Miss Chatterbox was running to catch the train to the sea. Oh, goodness. I really must hurry, otherwise I'm going to miss my train. Which platform was it? Hello, Mr Grumpy. Oh, no, not you. I'm terribly late, you know. I'm on my way to sea town. You know, it's a lovely place where the sky is blue, the sea is green, and there are lots of boats. I love sailing. Oh. The sea air is so bracing. Oh. The train, Miss Chatterbox, the train. Ah, oh, me too. I just love trains. Am I wrong? Perhaps you don't uh, like trains. The train for sea town, it's leaving right now. Mr Grumpy jumped on the train just in time. Really? You might have told me, Mr. Grumpy. Well, I would have if you weren't such a windbag. Oh! How dare you speak to me like that? Because you're full of hot air. Place, isn't it? Oh, it's such a lovely place, and I always want to go in here with this little horse skin. Out the poor gate, all over the place, the way I'm going to lay along with this little horse skin. Out the gate, all over the place. And that's not all, but I must go now. Oh, dear, 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 Mr. Fussy, you're all covered in ice cream. I never would have thought that someone as fussy as you could get in such a mess. <laughs> Mr. Dizzy! Oh, hello, Miss Tickle. Look at this sandcastle. Oh, you silly Billy. You have to put sand in the bucket to make sandcastles. Oh, imagine you can have to hold on. Oh, the place the It's been a pleasure chatting with you, Mr. Dizzy. Have a good holiday and uh, make sure you don't get some. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> With you, I love sailing. Oh. You see, I'm a true sailor. What's more, it runs in the family. <laughs> there used to be all rules That will do, Miss Chatterbox. We're in the middle of a race. Sit down over there and keep quiet. It's a disaster. The wind has dropped. We're at a standstill. Excuse me, but I come from a family of sailors, and, and my great uncle, who was a famous admiral, used to... Please shut up. Wait a minute. Uh, can't you see? When she speaks, it creates a breeze. Tell me about the admiral, little Miss Chatterbox. Oh, but of course. Well, he used to say that we all took everything to go, and then what is it down here? What? Oh, all right. I was a The Admiral, my great uncle, he used to fart this in colour. My aunt used to eat raw herring. Excuse me, but I come from a family of sailors, and, and my great uncle, who was a famous Admiral, used to say. The winner of today's regatta are Mr. Grumpy, Little Miss Busy, and their new teammate, Little Miss Chatterbox, to whom I present the cup. Oh. Huh? I told you, you're full of hot air. And now you've proved it. <laughs> I do believe she's lost for words. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.
Mr. Lazy takes an afternoon nap. Mr. Lazy is on holiday, enjoying his favorite sport of all, napping. I am very sorry. Attention, attention! The tide is coming in. Kindly move up the beach. Well, well, it's Mr. Lazy. Ah, oh, he's still asleep. I better take him back to shore. <laughs> Go and play somewhere else, children. Your stupid aunt is in my way, little Miss Splendid. I can't see a thing. I'll have you know that this is my best boating hat, Mr. Grumble. I really don't know why I agreed to take her out on my boat. Where shall I drop you off? <laughs> For goodness sake, I can't see little Miss Splendid. You should watch where you're going. And who's this old sleepy head here? You mean you don't recognize him? It's Mr. Lazy, of course. What a day. I've had enough. Oh, dear. What's that? It looks like a shark. 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 <laughs> Yummy lunch. Oh! Less noise, please, children. I'm sleeping. You. Oh. Oh. Oh, we're safe now. Land at last. Yeah. This isn't much of an island. No sand, no tree. Hello, oh, everyone. Oh, a talking island. Just my luck. But uh, it's a whale. Mr. Whale, take us home and be quick about it. With pleasure. Hold tight, everyone. Mr. Lazy is really incredible. Nothing on earth can wake him up. Whoops! Land ahoy! Thank, oh, thank you, you, Mr. Mr. Whale. Whale. Thank you, Mr. Whale. Don't forget your friend! Well, now, children, I don't find your tricks funny.
Mr. Brave versus Coco the Gorilla. Mr. Brave, is that mm. Mr. Brave? This is Mrs. Cage at the zoo. Something terrible has happened. Coco the giant gorilla has escaped. Please come quickly. We need your help. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Move. We're coming. They found Coco. He's in Mrs. Green's shop. Let's go. <laughs> We're pleased you're here, Mr. Brave. Where is he? Over there. <laughs> he's turned my shop upside down. <laughs> yeah, and he's eaten all the food I bought. <laughs> Mr. Brave, in you go. Ooh. Me? Oh, right. Ooh. Be careful, he's dangerous. Dangerous? Oh. <laughs> now, now, who's going to be a good gorilla? Go back to his cage Ooh. quietly. Are you quite all right, Mr. Brave? No, not too bad. Where's Coco? He went towards Miss Splendid's house. Off you go, Mr. Brave. Good luck, Mr. Good Brave. Luck, Mr. Good Brave. luck. Who? Me? <laughs> right. Do be careful, Mr. Brave. Miss Splendid? It's far too quiet for my liking. Look, he's there, on the roof. Hold on, Miss Splendid, I'm coming. Help! Someone! Oh, I, Help! I you missed! I... Now, come on, Coco, don't be silly. Let Miss Splendid go. Wait, Coco, I'm not quite finished with you yet. Oh. oh, my goodness! Good thing I go jogging every morning. Come on, Coco, it's lunchtime. Oh. Quickly, Mr. Greedy, lie down! My hat! My hair! My goodness! And what about my hat? I hope it's not ruined. Well done, Mr. Strong. <laughs> Good boy. <laughs> look, it's for you. <laughs> oh. oh, look, there's another one. <laughs> They're all for you. Oh. So, no hard feelings? No hard feelings, Mr. Brave. It was jolly good fun, but I'd rather be back in the zoo. The bananas there are much better. To my rescue. Hooray! Hooray! That was very brave, the way you faced up to that gorilla, Mr. Brave. <laughs> it was nothing, really. All I had to do was... <laughs> <laughs> What's wrong, Mr. Brave? There, on the table, a spider. Oh, I hate spiders.
Little Miss Naughty goes skiing. Hello, Miss Wise. Do you recognise me? I'm Miss Naughty. <laughs> and how can I help you, Miss Naughty? I'd like a return ticket to the High Peaks. I'm going skiing. I'll have your ticket ready right away, Miss Naughty. She's much too serious. <laughs> it's time for a little fun. Here you are. Have a good trip. <laughs> Mr. Wherry is worried. Mr. Dizzy is worried. Even little Miss Splendid is worried. And why are they worried? Because they are all going on a skiing holiday with little Miss Naughty. You're very kind, Miss Naughty. Don't mention it, Mr. Dizzy. <laughs> oh, oh, how do I stop? Oh, oh. I never realized skiing was so easy. Oh. Is this safe, Miss Naughty? I don't like heights, you see. Oh. You don't think I'll fall over up there, do you? Of course not. Why don't you enjoy the scenery instead of fretting? Liven things up a bit. <laughs> Look, Fifi, everybody thinks I'm beautiful. Lesson. We have to teach her a lesson. Yes, we, we must uh, teach her a lesson. The holiday is over and it's time to head back home. I'm uh, thirsty. I'm going to get something to drink. I'll go with you. Me too. Oh, I will then. I'll go too. Oh, don't bother. We'll bring you back something. <laughs> They're taking their time. They're going to miss the train. <laughs> bye, bye. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty funny, I admit. But they don't call me Miss Naughty for nothing. Well done, Mr. Dizzy. Miss Naughty is on the overnight train to Cold Land. That joke we played on Miss Naughty has given me an appetite. I've got some sandwiches in my bag. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> I wish I could see their faces now. Tickets, please. Oh, oh no!
Little Miss Dotty goes to home farm. There's nothing unusual about knitting with your feet when you're called Little Miss Dotty. Hmm, I'm all pins and needles. I should go and stretch my legs. <laughs> I know, I'll pay a visit to Little Miss Tiny at home farm. Idea and so good for your skin. Oh, please help me out on here. I must say, I was thirsty. The farmer has gone away on a holiday. He has left me in charge of a farm, but I can't manage all alone. Isn't that right, Mr. Pig? Poor thing. He was all pink before, but I'm just too small to wash him. You're right. He needs brightening up. The rooster has become a lazy good-for-nothing. He won't crow in the morning, he sleeps all day, and the hens aren't laying. Oh. Same with the donkey. He refuses to do anything. I can't even make deliveries to the market. Fun time! Wakey, wakey! This is no time to be waking good people up! Get her out of here! Thank you, ladies. Little Miss Tiny will be pleased. Not bad, eh? Yes, but something's missing. You're right. Miss Tiny, I are you there? I've, I've come to give you a hand. Why, Mr. Dizzy, perhaps you could help Miss Dotty. She's working wonders here at the farm. <laughs> Look, we're all going to play blind man's buff. Now, you have to try to catch us, Mr. Oh. Dizzy. <laughs> yeah, oh, Mr. Dizzy, catch me if you can. <laughs> Right, your turn now, Mr. Donkey. Try to catch Mr. Dizzy. Hee-haw, hee-haw. Oh. Hey, little bit of Sparty. Don't go yet. You haven't finished painting me. That's not on at all. Oh.
Mr. Nonsense's strange illness. I wonder what's going on. There's nobody in the street today. Hmm? Miss Late, why are you running so fast? Oh dear. Oh dear, Miss Scatterbrain. I'm late. I'm late for the Nonsense Land competition, and it's about to begin. The Nonsense Land competition? Oh, my goodness, I had completely forgotten. That's the one for the most nonsensical idea. Uh, who do you think will win? Oh, uh, Mr. Nonsense, as usual. Meanwhile, in Nonsense Land, Mr. Nonsense was playing cards with his two best friends, Little Miss Dotty and Mr. Silly. It's your turn, Miss Dotty. Yes! <laughs> it's your turn, Mr. Silly. Yep! <laughs> My friends, we still have an hour before the Nonsense Land competition begins. How about a game of tennis? Mr. Nonsense, yeah, Mr. Nonsense. I'm oh. so sorry. Oh, Mr. Nonsense, how do you feel? Oh, fine, perfectly fine. Thank you very much. What's he doing here? Pigs don't play tennis. <laughs> but Mr. Nonsense. But Mr. Nonsense, this is Nonsense Land. Nonsense Land? What on earth are you talking about? I am not Mr. Nonsense. Hmm? Yeah, not Mr. Nonsense. <laughs> Why, that's utter nonsense. <laughs> this is terrible. Oh, poor Mr. Nonsense. He has lost his memory. Meanwhile, the Nonsense Land competition had begun under the watchful eye of Little Miss Brainy, the judge. <laughs> Mr. Quiet, what is your nonsensical idea? It's a radio that makes no noise. <laughs> Mr. Lazy. Oh, it's an alarm clock with no hands. So, so I don't have to wake up. Oh. Mr. Nonsense. I am not Mr. Nonsense. No, Mr. Uh, uh, don't you recognize your own house? My house? You must be joking. Only birds oh. live in trees. Meanwhile, contestants who hope to win the Nonsense Land competition continue to file on stage. Mr. Bounce. <laughs> we still have one last contestant, but I do not see him. Where is Mr. Nonsense? So, what is your nonsensical idea, Mr. Nonsense? But, 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 uh, I'm not Mr. Nonsense. You are not Mr. Nonsense? No, I am not Mr. Nonsense. <laughs> that is the silliest idea I've heard all afternoon. Congratulations, Mr. Nonsense. Oh. You win this year's Nonsense oh. Land Cup. <laughs> Okay, Mr. Nonsense. Uh, yes, thank you, Miss Dotty. But I do feel a bit hungry. <laughs> what would you like to eat, Mr. Nonsense? A toasted custard sandwich. A toasted custard sandwich? You're cured, Mr. Nonsense. <laughs> yes, you are right. You're cured. <laughs> <all right. laughs>